than on the torture of the mind to lie in restless ecstasy. Duncan is in his grave. After life's fitful fever, he sleeps well. Treason has done his worst. Nor steel, nor poison, malice domestic, foreign levy, nothing can touch him further. Come on, gentle my lord. Sleek o oh, your rugged looks. Be bright and jovial among your guests tonight. So shall I, love. And so, I pray, be you. Let your remembrance apply to Banquo. Present him eminence with both eye and tongue. Unsafe the while that we must lave our honours in these flattering streams and make our faces visits of our hearts, disguising what they are. You must leave this. Oh, full of scorpions is my mind, dear wife. Thou know that Banquo and his fleance lives. But in them nature's copies not eternal. There is comfort yet. They are assailable. Then be thou jocund. Ere the black bat hath flown his cloistered flight. Ere black Hecate summons the shard-born beetle, whose drowsy hum had rung in night's yearning peal, there shall be done a deed dreadful note. What's to be done? Be innocent of the knowledge, dearest Chuck, till thou abhor the deed. Come, sealing night, scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day, and with thy bloody and invisible hand, cancel and tear to pieces that great bond which keeps me pale. Light thickens. The crow makes wing to the rocky wood. Good things of day begin to droop and drowse whilst nice black agents to their prey do loves. <laughs> Thou marvels at my words, but hold thee still. Things bad begun make strong themselves by ill. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> Go with me. <laughs> Banquet music, blackout house lights. <laughs>